from Glastonbury. We are working to learn if there will be any fallout after a man punched a school board member in the face at a board meeting last night. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Susanna now joins us live right outside Glastonbury High School. Roger, did the meeting end as soon as that fight was broken up? Yeah, good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Wendell. As you can imagine, that meeting did come to a screeching halt really just seconds after that punch was thrown. But, you know, viewer videos show us that this altercation was really heated even before the fight got physical. That's unprofessional. Why are you swearing at a, at a citizen? The fight began as a verbal altercation between a man who attended last night's meeting and a Board of Ed member. The two men stood nearly nose to nose, and the Board of Ed member eventually pushes the man, who responds with a violent swing that actually knocks the Board of Ed member to the ground. Afterwards, people rush in and separate the two men, and the rest of the meeting was a... Police say they are investigating the fight. The meeting was about Glastonbury's Board of Ed getting rid of the high school's old Tomahawk logo last year. Some people who opposed the move created an online petition to bring the logo back, arguing the public didn't have proper input in 2020 because all of the Board of Ed members couldn't hold in-person meetings due to the pandemic. But nothing was decided last night because the fight, not the logo, ended up getting much more attention. And at this point, we are not identifying either of the two men who were involved in that fight. But as we mentioned, police are investigating. And later today, we hope to get an update from both police as well as district leaders about this violence that, again, happened at a Board of Ed meeting here in Glastonbury. And as soon as we get new developments, we'll update you on air and on the Channel 3 app. Reporting live in Glastonbury, I'm Roger Susannon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.